about flying, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one of the areas that Nigeria has not really excelled in, in the eyes of the world, and I say this, if, if you want to contradict me, then let me know. One of the areas in which Nigeria hasn't really, or hadn't really excelled in the eyes of the world was in aviation, all right? But in the last few years, there's been a shining star on the horizon. Please welcome Mr. Larry Bangboshe and Mr. Richard Ortega of Eric Air. Mr. Richard? Mr. Yes. Yes. Larry, no, here. Just here, this is like, thank you. And uh, you can get my with it. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Please put your hands together for them one more time. You're, you're, you're both welcome. You're looking very deeper. You're, you're looking very deeper. Mr. Ortega, where are you from? I'm born, I was born in France. You are born in France, so you speak French? Um, petit peu. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay, so you speak French and English. That's so cool. Correct. Two languages. Two languages. That's cool. So, uh, oui, oui, ne, oui, cause, 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 cause. Quand tu veux, tu peux parler français. Et maintenant, ça va bien. I told them. I told them. I, I, I told them. I, I, I did not tell you. I, I told you. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So, you're very welcome here. Arik, Arik, Arik. You've been doing very, very well. And we're proud. Aren't we proud? We're, we're, we're very proud. We, we, we're proud. We, we had nothing to call ours, and uh, then Eric Air came. But in the, in the interest of national development, why not name it almost something Nigerian? What does Eric Air mean? What's Eric? Um, Eric Air, the name Eric Air is taken from the name of our founder, okay. from his name. It's um, Arumemi Ikide. A R Arumemi I K Ikide. Okay. Uh, that's, those are the names, uh, the alphabets from the. Well, so names that's of our how founder. you came with Eric Air. That's right. Okay, that is. Uh, that's, that is very good. Mr. Richard, that is very Nigerian, in case you haven't noticed. We like to name things after ourselves. So you're not likely to see things like Total or Ajip in Nigeria. If I own, if I own oil company tomorrow, it's going to be called Tej Oil. That's how we do it, Tej Oil. If, if you <laughs> that's, that's it. I thought you would say, uh, I thought you would say baby oil. Oh, baby oil. I like this one. Baby oil. <laughs> baby, baby oil. <laughs> Okay, now, so where are you going to? Things around here have been known to happen in one way. Nigerians come out with things. We usually come out very well, very good. Give us one year, give us two years, give us three years, then things begin to go down. No offense meant, it's just that our maintenance culture here still has quite some distance to travel, basically. So what are the plans? Where are you going? You seem to be expanding. Yes. Uh, where are you going? Do we expect you to keep going? I know you will say yes, but, but why should we believe you? Um, uh, if you look back at how we started, we have a momentum that we must sustain because uh, for us, it's not just about business, it's about Nigeria. It's a Nigerian project that we're executing here. Uh, we started with just about four flights a day. Today we do well over 120 flights. We started with just... Um, we started with what we call Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. Um, that triangle is very synonymous with business in Nigeria. From there, we moved to very unknown airports in Nigeria, Gombe, Yola, Maiduguri. We, we have flown to, today, we're flying to 21 airports in Nigeria. Um, <laughs> we're, we're in Ghana, we're in the entire West Coast, we're in South Africa, we're in New York, we're in London. Our model is such that um, Nigeria must be represented the way it is. We call ourselves the giant of Africa. Yeah, we've got our problems, but indeed, we are the giant of Africa. So proudly, we want to fly this flag to everywhere in the world and show them that the black man has got, like you said earlier, something to be proud of and that we can also do it. <laughs> and that we can also do it the way it is done elsewhere in the world, world, world class. Okay, having said that, do, do they respect us more now because of you? They're uh, beginning to do that. They're beginning to understand that. We've got... Um, because of you, do they respect us more now? Yes. Um, if you go to New York today, one of the nicest, one of the, one of the nicest um, airplanes that you find parked in New York is airplane. It's an A340-500. <laughs> We're stimulating the growth for the economy as well. Okay. So for us, it's... it's, it's Do you have political ambitions? Um, so then we need Sorry. Richard, it, it, means, it means literally 
in English, your mouth is sweet. I mean, he can barely get things out of his mouth. They are clapping for him. Do you have political ambitions or something? Um, if you're happy to support me, I'm happy to show the model of Eric to Nigeria in some... <laughs> If you had to tell me in a line, because I know your, your, your schedule is very busy, if you had to tell me in a line, because your, your, your price is actually competitive, your, your airline tickets, you don't go by the line that because it's Nigerian, then your prices have to drop. Your prices are some of the very premium ones. Uh, if you had to tell me in a line, why would I uh, fly Arik as opposed to flying some of the more established brands that are even from out of the country? Safety and comfort. Safety, but I agree. I mean, so for people who don't know, Beyond safety and comfort. If you, if you want to eat Amala on your flight, then you choose Eric. <laughs> <laughs> when, you walk, when, when you walk into that airplane in Nithru, it reminds you of um, some pepper soup joints as well in Lagos. Because you, you, you get welcomed on board the cabin in Nithru, for instance, with a very strong aroma of pepper soup. You have choice Nigerian delicacies on board and intercontinental cuisines as well. So we provide a mix of all, you know, aside from the comfort, aside from the safety that we are sure, okay. we, we give you that, uh, what uh, the Yorubas would call Igbadun on board. You get that maximum. All right, tell me about Mr. Johnson. Uh, he's a man we hardly ever see outside. Uh, tell me about Mr. Johnson, what kind of man is he? I hear that he doesn't even sleep. I hear that the man does not even sleep. Tell us about the man, the, the vision behind Arik. He is very hard to follow. He runs all the time in the sense that he's very active. So you have to have a lot of energy to follow him. He's, when you think of tomorrow, he always already thinks uh, 10 years ahead. So um, you have to run all the time. It's very challenging to follow him. Okay, before we let you go, tell us of the challenges. If you had to say something to the government, tell us of the challenges, first of all. And I'll throw that to you, Otumba. Um, the challenges are so many. We're struggling with them. Um, one very major challenge we've had, um, without anybody telling me, I can tell you, for instance, uh, they will say, Eric delays, Eric delays. I'm not making a case for delays, but uh, if you look at the state of our airports, you will ask yourself, you've got the piece of metal, a brand new airplane that cost $135 million on the other side, and you've got passengers coming into a terminal that is not air conditioned, that there's no um, you know, guaranteed power supply. Um, we've had congestion in our airports because the state of the facility is appalling. One very important thing that we have always asked and we'll keep asking government to do for us is give us that opportunity to develop a terminal facility or develop a terminal facility and put us into it that will measure with the standard that we've set for our business. It's very key to us and that that's, we need that to guarantee good service. Kind of like British Airways has uh, is it Terminal 5. If I have an Eric terminal in this country today, I can tell you one thing, nobody wants to fly anywhere else, especially if you have to go abroad. You know you, you have the right facility. Who here wants to go on holiday and needs tickets? Aye, 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 aye. Some of you don't have visas. Put your hands down first. If you have a visa, can we see your hand? Okay. Okay. For this show, for Teju Baby Face Show, yeah. we're happy to offer a 25% discount okay. to anybody that has to go to the UK yeah. or to the United States or South Africa. Yes. Provided such people are registered at this show today, yes. we're happy to offer that. 25% discount. Congratulations. God bless you, people. Thank you for doing for them. What will you do for me? <laughs> uh, one of my, my sisters, one of them, just won a stay. Green card, green card in America. She lives in Maryland. I want to go and visit her. I don't know how to get there yet. And I'm tired of flying... I don't know how to deal with discount. Shabby, you have to have money to be discounted. I'm tired of flying economy. Help me. Um, <laughs> well, Teju just said Maryland. Not Ikeja, not Ikeja, not Onibongo. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't say Maryland. I mean Maryland. No, Maryland is for Maryland. Land over Maryland, USA. Uh -huh. I will do an upgrade for Teju Baby Face. An upgrade? I mean I have to buy the ticket first. Uh, so, sorry, how much do the tickets economy go for this season? Um, Richard, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. So if I buy this two hundred thousand dollar ticket, you are guaranteeing. And this is the comedy bible. Okay. <laughs> Put your hands, both your hands on it. 
Do you promise that you are speaking the truth and nothing but the absolute truth? Absolutely. Absolutely. Richard, we're not sorrow. I do as well. <laughs> you do, you promise. All right. So if I buy a 200,000 naira ticket, um, if I buy, if I buy this 200,000 naira ticket, you're going to upgrade me to what? Um, you've been on that plane before. Yes. What you find in economy, on some aircraft is actually premium economy. Yeah. But um, on a business class, we're upgrading you from what you see as premium economy to a full life flat bed that's got duvet. How many inches is the screen? 22. So you're going to have big blast entertainment all the way to New York. OK. So you are taking me from 200,000 to about how much is the business class? Um, it's about 750. So from 200,000 to 750,000 Naira. Let's go. Let's go. Director, I resign. Okay. <laughs> but, but before I let you go, I want people. People are curious now. People are curious now. Uh, what please sit? I, I just, I, uh, some, somebody just uh, said to me in the studio, uh, now, uh, usually, uh, now when a cancellation happens, what does Eric do? If I'm at the airport, I've seen that happen before. If I'm at the airport and we cannot travel again, especially with all the snow now, you've seen the reports? If it's, uh, <clears throat> I mean, if it's due to weather, for example, we don't fly, yeah. then we rebook you at no charge. Oh, you rebook me at no charge? Yes. Okay, but if it's my fault, if I came late, we come late a lot. Because we know you, we charge you double. You will charge me double? You. you. Me. What if it's them? Uh, we'll be more flexible. You'll be more flexible. But if it's me, you charge me double. Can't they go? <laughs> <laughs> you charge me, charge me